at the moment there's this kind of um I don't know what what how we describe it but there's a change in the um atmosphere with the understanding and appreciation of Rumi within the Muslim com traditional communities and I'm sure as a poet you would have seen it as well that a lot of people are beginning to question the translations of Rumi and are beginning to question the sources and the people that have translated the works and the authenticity um mm -hmm. I wanted to get your thoughts as well mm -hmm. coming from you know somebody who writes poetry in English um but also having awareness and and appreciation for qasaid in other languages um what your thoughts are about that whole that whole um discussion really yeah really good question actually and a really important conversation funnily enough i think i was being interviewed recently on an some um an insta live and I, and it came up the same the same thing came up it's interesting because um like you said there are lots of people particularly people maybe from a persian background mm -hmm. for example that are starting to reclaim rumi right and reclaim hafir then they're kind of presenting translations and really showing the difference between coleman barks for example and what is actually meant and one of the things that you definitely see is erasure sometimes oftentimes of the islamic um islamic presence the islamic metaphors the islamic references so completely problematic and really important that people are starting to reclaim it however so that's that full stop however from my perspective i would not have really known about rumi or hafiz or had access to their to their work if it had not been for the daniel ladinskis and the coleman barks and all the other people that have done these translations so even though they are problematic i always i think as believers that our our role is to always see a lot in a situation you know like what good can we extract from that you know what i mean and the first good we can extract is that these people have popularized Rumi these people have popularized Hafid okay they might have you know extracted things or maybe try to universalize the message um and maybe remove Islam to kind of so that it sells better but at the same time Rumi is the highest selling poet in America so what that means is that someone from our tradition is the most popular poet in one of the most islamophobic countries in the world you know what i'm saying so there's to me there's khair there however i think you know allah will ignite the hearts of the people when they're ready so now we're ready to reclaim rumi now we're ready to say actually this isn't exactly true and this is how he should be presented and that's fine you know what i mean i'm i'm not really from i don't really take the kind of perspective of like I'm going to boycott, you know, Coleman Barks or all of that stuff. I teach, when I teach, uh, I just recently taught a, a course on sacred poetry. I have to rely on those English references for now, you know, but I look forward to the day when, you know, I can pick up a book but that's been translated by a Sufi woman or that's been translated by a Persian guy and I can use that instead. But until we're at that stage, we have to just acknowledge what they did you know what i mean for and and i personally allahu alam i don't know what's inside of people's hearts but i'm not gonna presume that they had bad intentions you mm -hmm. know what i mean like oh, we were trying to da, da, da. i'm not gonna say that they they were just trying to get there's something they're passionate about and they wanted to share it you know and they did it in their way but now we have to reclaim it and i remember barack blue wrote wrote recently and was kind of talking on, on on his page and he was talking about how in some cases non-Muslims appreciate our poets more than a lot of Muslims do. There's certain factions of our community. If you pulled out a Rumi's book, they're going to say haram bida, astaghfirullah, mm -hmm. get out. You know what I'm saying? It's weird, whereas there are non-Muslim, atheist, Jews, Christians that are loving on Rumi. You know what I mean? So I think I it's just for us mm -hmm. to kind of take honour and pride in, in what comes from our tradition, I think. Mm -hmm.